Six days in, there was a little thought, there was a little devil on one of my shoulders that said, oh, nobody will know, go ahead and just buy. These are just like four or five items. Nobody will know, you'll just work it into your stash. I'm commuting now. I've got about a 30 minute drive to get to school. And I used to only have to commute 40 minutes, but I don't know if you can see the beautiful terrain. This is deer country, USA. So the longer your commute, the more probable it seems that you and your automobile will meet a deer one evening as you're driving home around 4.42 in the afternoon. Wouldn't it be ironic if one just leapt out in front of me now? That is not gonna happen. And that is not why I'm checking in with you now. I'm checking in with you now because today is the 6th, I believe. And we're only six days into January. I was feeling up to this point that my no buy was going to be a piece of cake. I feel stockpiled. I feel like I have an excellent collection of inventory in terms of clothing, perfectly happy with my work, my workout and my kind of casual hangout around the house wardrobes. Um, I even have plenty of stuff to wear to the dog park. I am covered. Um, all my stuff is in really good shape. I don't need anything. I don't need anything. So that seems there should be a direct correlation. Therefore, I should not want anything. So I was checking my email this morning and we're on day six or seven. It might be the seventh. Remember, I am not good with numbers. Uh, they don't mean that much to me. We are the week before final exams. So all eyes are on the prize, so to speak, in terms of prepping my students for success on their final exam. All right, however, I open my email and there is a splendid offer from Neiman, Art, Neiman Marcus. 25% um, off everything if you spend X number of dollars, $200, it's $50 off. And the deal, I believe, incrementally gets better, but 200, that $200, that's sort of my window. I can justify spending $200 on products that are discounted that generally are not discounted. All right, so temptation. Mm. I will link it below and share it with you just in case you're not on a no-buy and you would like to take advantage of things like, um, well, even Chanel products are discounted. So I had some things in my shopping cart that have been sort of packed, parked there for, um, you know, while I was shopping for other people over the Christmas season, I had to sort of build my own wish lists in my shopping carts and then I basically abandoned most of them with the thought that oh I'll get back to it if I really want it I'll chew on it I'll wait for a great deal and then I'll pull the trigger so to speak however it is six days into my no buy year so I can't do it uh, I won't do it now I could be sneaky about it. Um, I have a history of sort of being a sneaky shopper. If you ask my husband, I don't come home and just like drag him through the nuts and bolts of what I spend and when I spend it. And if I'm first one home, I get the boxes off the front stoop and you know, it might slip my mind. I might not communicate my guilty little pleasure and my guilty little habit. So that's just the way things were rolling with the old me, with um, how, how my old patterns would roll out. Um, again, we're both making money. It's not that I'm putting us in any kind of financial jeopardy, although he may disagree. He's um, not as 
fluent a spender as I am. Um, but he has his hobbies. So anyway, I just thought I would share six days in. There's a little thought, there's a little devil on one of my shoulders that said, oh, nobody will know, go ahead and just buy. These are just like four or five items. Nobody will know, you'll just work it into your stash. This is the stuff you forgot to include in your inventory, or I would just not include it in any of my inventory um, deep dives. So, I'm a rational human being. I, um, I'm not listening to that little devil on my shoulder because it is a waste of time, right? I did much more interesting things with my day once I decided to move on from that shopping cart. And um, I worked on a project instead that actually allowed me to implement a digital breakout tool in the classroom. I had time to prep it. I had time to collaborate with our digital facilitator. So I chalk one up for professional development. Um, and I get to feel good about it because I did not succumb to temptation. So that's my story. I'm going to show some of the items that were especially um, tempting to me. There were a couple shades of a Chanel cream eyeshadow that I have been coveting for some months. Um, another item is this Shantikai eyeliner ink and it has kind of a the color I was interested in was this really beautiful iridescent deep plum that was tempting. Uh, this is a product that is just so aesthetically beautiful. I love the overspray. This looks like a Gustav Klimt painting. I really adore it. It looks like it is gilded. I believe it's a highlighter. The old me doesn't even care what the face powder is. It's just so beautiful. I'd like to own it. Um, so that just shows you some of the mindset that you're dealing with um, when we're talking about shopping habits and some of the products that appeal to me. Please do comment below. Tell me about what your triggers are, what you're tempted by, which offers are so compelling to you that you consider cheating um, and breaking your no buy. Another thing I had considered, and I don't know how the rest of you are going to handle this, so please do share. Um, if you have enough points in your Sephora as a VIB Rouge, you can actually trade those points in for cash gift certificates. So let me know how you plan on handling that if you're in the same position that I'm in with that. Um, I appreciate your time. Thank you always for watching. Please hit subscribe and the bell. But more than that, let's start a conversation down in the comment field. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. This is just too beautiful not to share with you all. Gotta say hi. Yeah. Good boy. Let's go. Wanna go home? Want a big ear? Oh, how about a big ear? Let's go. <laughs>